It's got joy lube all over it. Keep that line from down. You're right, ladies and gents. How's it going? Welcome to the second episode in my running in series. My Triumph Street Triple 765R is now at 500 miles. So I'm allowed an extra 1000 RPM on the rev range, which takes me up to 7000 RPM. And it also means I've got to go for a service. The wonderful guys down at Destination Triumph have uh, got me booked in for tomorrow and they are loaning me a bike so I can get home today and then uh, get back down there to pick it up again on Friday. So yes, how are we getting on with the bike? Well, bloody marvellous. It's absolutely amazing. It's everything I wanted it to be. Obviously, while running in, you are restricted on revs. So I don't have full power or full throttle or stuff like that. But I certainly don't feel held back, not on roads like this anyway. It's bloody marvellous. Some of you might be wondering what's going on with my dashboard, especially seeing as I had problems with that when I picked the bike up. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm using a filter on my camera that um, takes away glare and crap like that and it's rotated 90 degrees which takes away LCD displays and crap like that. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that. <laughs> but yes, this bike is so much fun. It's bloody awesome, absolutely bloody marvellous. I picked the bike up on Monday last week, so I've had it nine days now and got the 500 miles on it. I got the 500 miles on it in no time, but obviously I couldn't go over mileage. Uh, Destination Triumph did say that it, a little bit wouldn't be too much of an issue or whatever, but uh, I mean this, as I said when I picked the bike up on my opening video, is, is a long term bike for me. So I want to make sure that I do it all by the book, you know. It's 5,000 RPM for the first 300 miles, and then 6,000 RPM for the next 300, so I've got another 100 miles to go at 6,000 RPM or up to 6,000 RPM and then from 600 to 800 miles I'm allowed another 1,000 RPM which gets me 7,000 RPM and then uh, from 800 to 1,000 I'm allowed 8,000 RPM I haven't looked in the book yet to see what goes on after that but I'm pretty much guessing that um, it's sort of full throttle from then on in I thought when I got the bike that it being a low ride height version would adversely affect the handling now I don't know if it does compared to the full height one but I certainly don't find this holding me back on the corners not one little bit now this isn't a criticism of the bike not in the slightest it's just because of what I'm used to with my other two bikes both of them require a little bit of free play in the cable for the clutch and on this there isn't any and the biting point is quite high up or quite far at the end of the travel and that's just takes a little bit of getting used to I guess <laughs> man this thing's fun <laughs> it's just so planted on the corners now I think both my KTM and my Moto Guzzi both handle incredibly well for what they are but this so much better I'm only wearing my jeans so I can't even be contemplating a knee down action but I really don't think it's going to be a problem on this bike. It's just bloody marvellous. <laughs> As I've got more used to the bike, I'm getting more used to the riding position. On the demo ride, I said it was absolutely perfect and I loved it. And I don't know whether there was something slightly different on that compared to this one. I don't know whether it had the same sculpt on the seat. I don't know how they do that, whether it's something they do by hand or, or, or whatever at the, tra at the Triumph factory but this one it definitely pushes me more forward in the saddle and under braking I do seem to slide a little bit more on this I also find the reach to the bars feels like it's slightly further and I don't know whether that's just the angle that the bars have been set up at and that's something I'm going to try and play with as I get more used to the bike just put it back just a squidge just a squidge it'll be just slightly more comfortable on my wrists but I am getting used to it I am getting more and more used to it and it might be just that I'm so used to the upright riding position that I have on both the Guzzi and the KTM as for the ergonomics of this bike, it's all pretty damn good really. I mean, I do find the instrument cluster on the left hand side a little bit of a kerfuffle, but that's just because I'm not used to having much in a way of tech on my other bikes. And 
and I don't have any tech that I need to use on the other bikes either. The wing mirrors, they're really good, they don't vibrate or anything like that, um, but I do see an awful lot of elbow in them. I do have some Rizomo bar end mirrors, which are really quite expensive mirrors at home, and I had them on my Ducati Sport Classic, which I sold to pay for this. Now, if I can get them, I might look into getting the uh, adapter, which will allow me to fit them onto these bars, but I don't know if they do one yet. Currently, at the Rizomo website, or Rizomo website, only lists the previous generation of the uh, Street Triple. On my new bike video, someone mentioned about fitting a tail tidy, and I'm in two minds. They look so much nicer, but also, I want to maintain the practicality of this bike, so I'm not sure if I want to fit that. As both my other bikes, they roosted like fuck uh, in anything, any form of water, I get a wet ass on them. Now, I know the KTM 390 is pretty short, but that's nothing compared to how short the back end is on my Guzzi. Mm. It hasn't got one. <laughs> So that one's self-inflicted. I really thought running this bike in at 5,000 RPM for the first 300 miles was going to be incredibly painful. But it really wasn't. It did about 65 miles an hour of that. And uh, I mean, I was fortunate enough to have a week off work at the time. So I was able to get those miles done really, really quickly. And the same with this second rev range, the uh, 300 to 600 miles. Again, I got those first 200 miles of that range done incredibly fast. Too fast, I was just like, I've had to put the bike down for a few days. So this last 100 miles, and I'm into that a little bit now because I was slightly over, will be done in no time. But running a bike in the proper way, the way the manufacturer tells you to do so, it's really not a challenge. And it's not that tedious. So why risk your warranty? I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just wondering why you would go outside of the process if the manufacturer says to do it one way. And I'm pretty sure that when they plug in their computers to your motorcycle, they can see how many revs you've given it. And I often wonder whether they would bring that up in a warranty dispute should you have any issues with your engine. I don't think you would ever have any particular issues with an engine if you gave it a hard run in but a lot of people I know, certainly in the UK tend to keep their bikes for a shorter period of time not everyone, I mean some people keep them for forever um, but a lot of people do keep their bikes for a much shorter time span and it means they're passing those problems on to the next buyer it's one of the reasons I like buying new at least then, if there are any problems they're either down to the manufacturer or me Okay, so we're just about down at Destination Triumph in Washington. Awesome guys. Let's get it in for his first service, eh? Wonder what bike they lent me. And what they lent me. The wonderful chaps have lent me a Triumph Tiger 800 XRX. And it's the low ride height version too. So it'll be interesting to see what I think of this. But that'll be another video, chaps. Um, right, so I'm going to cut away now and when I come back I'll be picking up my 765 so um, yes yeah, see you in a bit right well we've got my Triumph back and uh, that's all serviced now so that should be good to go up until it's uh, 6,000 miles I believe it is for the next service so let's get going shall we the Sun's just about hanging on to the day looked like it's gonna rain a minute ago um, but yes so we've got the bike back do keep an eye out for the review, um, or at least the first ride of the Triumph Tiger XRX, as that will be coming out shortly, if it hasn't come out already. I'm already struggling. My clutch is weird. I need to look in the book just to see if I can adjust that, um, because I really liked how it was on the, uh, on the Tiger. Its bite point was in a much nicer place. So the dashboard on this is pretty clever. It's got um, a uh, running in mode and uh, I believe that's been turned off now on the service. I'm guessing that they had to do some diagnostics or switchings and stuff to reset the service interval and what that's possibly done is it's taking it off running mode. I do know that I am only allowed 6,000 RPM at the moment 
so it's not a problem but I will be switching that back on it's a nice little handy reminder to know that you can only use a certain rev range at a certain mileage point and it all adjusts all that little line up for you nicely all by its lonesome saving me any brainiac work to do I'm not very good at brainiacking dual carriageways are shit even when you can go fast and I can do no fast well at least not dual carriageway fast so let's get off that road and go find a more twiddly one to go and play on and hopefully a far more enjoyable rest of journey okay so we're on 543 miles now let's get this thing up to 600 before I get home eh? you can do that right I want those extra thousand RPM <laughs> that's what I love about bikes you can just jump on it and go find some twiddles it's not about getting there it's about the taking part <laughs> is that the filth, the roz, the popo, the flavo up ahead? I hope not <laughs> let's go find out I think it's just some little baby ducklings going on some bike learnings Yeah, learners, they be learners. Ah, bloody stonage. Ah, fuck. I hate you, chippage fucking bastards. All right, let's go find some fun road. <laughs> okay so how am I getting on with the bike well you saw how I was getting on with the bike on my way to the service I've only done a couple of miles since so yes we're all on to the next chapter the next video will have me with uh, 7000 rpm available to me and gradually stepping up the speed of this thing I'm hoping to get this on the track day at some point soon so I need to get it running And it won't take me long, won't take me long at all. I mean, with the bike nearly having 600 miles on the clock already, I think we're going to be all right. It's going to be a good summer, you know. Any houses? Um, yes, the bike is coming along great. Engine, I wouldn't say it's loosening up as such, but it is certainly, certainly becoming more and more fun as I get more and more revs along the line. I'm not being held back by the fact that I've only got 6,000 RPM at the moment. You just got to pick your roads and dual carriageways and A roads and stuff like that, or at least fast A roads. They're just not the right place for it. Back lane twisties, that's where it's at. And that's where I'm heading now to get some miles done. But you've had enough of me for one video. Anyway, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. There'll be the rest of this running in series, along with other videos regarding how I'm getting on with the Triumph and possibly any accessories or stuff like that I fit to the bike as well as some sound tests and things like that coming up also have another couple of bikes so uh, if you like custom guzzies oh, I have one of them if you like KTM's I have one of them and I do all sorts of shit go visit castles up and down the country go visit boats down in the dockyards all sorts of stuff anyway so subscribe if you haven't already if you're enjoying this video and this video series give it a little thumbs up and if you're not give it a little thumbs down it's all good but whatever you do always drop in a comment let me know what it was you liked and what it was you didn't and fucking chippings so anyway um yes drop in a comment all right west sussex county council seem to be throwing chippings at everything at the moment so this video is going to be a bit poop if i carry on any further if it's not already poop so you ride safe take care and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now Hey no, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down. <laughs>